Since I was a little kid, I've associated the news on TV with a sinking feeling. There's something about it that would scare me. Not just the terrible things that I was seeing, but how there seemed to be a never-ending supply of it. It's like a constant loop of the same four or five stories. Things really seemed to reach a boiling point for me personally during the 2016 presidential elections. I was glued to the news, trying to understand what was going on, and horrified by most of what I saw. I was totally sucked in and emotionally invested into a bubble, buying into the sensationalized US and international conflicts, and over time, I started to see the consequences of this. I could feel myself growing more resentful and pessimistic, and also cynical. I was becoming less trustful about people and about the world. So I started to wonder what things would be like if I stopped watching the news, if I removed this entirely from my life. Not just a one week or 30 day challenge, but a permanent shift away from it. No more Fox, Wall Street Journal, or CNN. Nada. Now, I used to think it was my obligation as a citizen to stay informed, but my perspective started to shift, and that's the reason why I chose to do this. First of all, stay informed on what? When you watch the news, you're letting someone else decide what's important and what's worth your attention. You're letting them handpick the five or so stories they think you should be aware of out of everything that is going on in the entire world. And usually, it's the most extreme people and the most extreme images that get all of the screen time. Bold red text in all caps. Breaking news. I'm not advocating for ignorance or denial. I'm just saying that I don't buy into the sensationalization. How is the news helping me? It's a bunch of problems and no solutions. You have to pick a political team and everyone else is on the other side. It honestly sometimes feels like it doesn't reflect reality. When I just watch what's going on, I'm pretty powerless to change things anyway. I'm not saying it's not possible, I'm just saying that I think it's a better use of my time and energy to focus on myself and what I can contribute to the world. On something positive instead of being a keyboard warrior and condemning something I saw online. I mean, let's face it, there's an infinite amount of material available out there to get offended about. So last year, I started to phase out my exposure to the news. I removed all news apps from my phone and also made an effort to remove it from my social media feeds like YouTube, Reddit, and Instagram. I stopped using Facebook altogether, which meant no more relative sharing a weird combination of political frustrations with cute dog videos. Being on Facebook during an election campaign was like a never-ending Thanksgiving dinner with a divided family. Not good. And finally, whenever I would see the news, I would make an effort to change the channel, look away, exit the app, or leave the room. I don't need to watch a panel of people twice my age scream at each other about the same thing over and over. I find that pretty stressful and unproductive. At first I just transitioned to French news, and then I realized that it was the same thing, just a different president and different language. So then I dropped that too. The first thing that I realized once I was finally able to detox from the endless stream of news and updates was how unimportant 99% of it is. Humans did okay for thousands of years without knowing about every disaster, every hour. I don't think our biological hardware is properly equipped for that deluge of information. Actually, I found that not following the news frees up a lot of time and energy that I can put into other stuff that feels more practical and concrete in my life, like this project of me trying to get my life together. I feel like my outlook on things has lightened up a little bit too. The world's not ending, not yet. I see a lot of people trying to figure things out for themselves, and it's encouraging. People are searching. I'm not trying to plug my ears and ignore stuff like climate change. I'm just trying to focus on what's within my power. Now, I still consume economic or international news from time to time that isn't dramatized or hyped up. Mainly a couple of podcasts that do a great job, and I'll link to them down below if you're interested. But for the most part, I don't follow any news, and I think I'm doing alright. I hear stuff from people. But in general, it doesn't feel like I'm living under a rock, and I'm not panicking about what's happening out there. There's no point. And I bet it's better for my mental health that way too. I'm curious, are any of you doing or trying to do the same thing? How do you feel about it? This channel, this project, is all about my search for mental clarity, and an alternative way of living in the 21st century. I'm increasingly seeing it as kind of like a series of experiments, a way to sort of just question established norms, and not in like a screw the system sort of way, but just as a way to take responsibility as an individual and to better my own life. You know, there's a part of me that is terrified of sleepwalking through life, of seeing my opportunities and my time pass me by. So I'm trying to figure out how I can live more presently and just squeeze more of the juice out of life. 
One thing I can say with full certainty is that it's not clear, it's not a clear path, it's not a linear path. And it's not necessarily for everybody, not everybody's searching. It is my belief that our minds, if they aren't the most valuable thing that we have access to on this earth, that it's one of them. And so it, it's, it's very important for all of us to make an effort to take care of it, to take care of what goes into our minds and how we treat ourselves. And I'm trying to make the whole experience as cinematic as possible. So these videos take a long time and this project is really important to me. And I'm not in it for the money, but of course I would love to do this long term. I'd love to put all of my time into these videos. And one way you can help me do that, if you're interested, is by contributing on my Patreon. It's a fantastic way also to get access to some exclusive content and some behind the scenes content, but mainly it's a way to help me allocate more of my resources to creating these videos. So consider checking it out. There's no obligation. Obviously, if money is tight, my Patreon should not be at the top of your list of things to put money towards. All right, thank you for watching. Follow me on social media. Do all of the things. It is freezing out here and it is starting to snow. I don't know if you can see it. So I will see you soon.